Hello, let's look at another application of time, speed and distance. Races. What happens in a race? Two people, three people, they might be racing. So what all different things are there? Now there's something called a lead time. Now what is a lead time? Suppose A and B are racing. A says, okay, B, you can start two seconds before me. I'll, sa I'll start two seconds after when you start. Now this is what is called lead time. Lead distance. Suppose I allow him to start 10 meters ahead of me for the same completing line or same fish finishing line. So this is called lead distance. What is a beat time? Suppose I cross the finish line and B crosses the line after 3 seconds. Now that is called a beat time. So there is something called beating distance. Now if I complete the race and B is 20 meters behind me, that is called beating distance. Now these are the four major things used normally in races. Let's see how we apply it. A question, A beats B by 20 meters in a 100 meter race. Now this is nothing but A completes the race and B is 20 meters behind him when he completes the race. Second is A gives B a head start of 20 meters and in a race of 100 meters which results in a dead heat. What is dead heat? Dead heat is nothing but when both of them complete at the same moment. So A and B are touching the finishing line at the same moment. Let's look at a question. A beats B by 2 seconds in a 100 meter race. If the speed of A is 5 meters per second, by what distance will he beat B in a 500 meter race? Now we don't know the speed of B, but we know the speed of A. So the time taken by A in that 100 meter race will be 100 upon 5, which is 20 seconds. So B will take 2 seconds more, which is 22 seconds. So the speed of B is 100 upon 22. Now how much time will A take to cover the 500 meter race? So 500 meter race, 500 divided by 5, which is 100 seconds. Now the difference of distance that B covers in 100 seconds and 500 meter will be the distance by which A wins by B. So how much distance that B cover in those 100 seconds? So 100 into 100 by 22, that is the distance covered by B, which comes to 455 meters. Let's look at another question. In a 100 meter race, A runs at 6 kilometers per hour and A gives B a start of 4 meters, but still beats him by 12 seconds. What is the speed of B? Now A is covering 100 meters, B is covering 96 meters. So speed of A, which is 6 kilometers per hour, is converted to 5 by 3 meter per second. So what happens here? B takes more time. So 96 upon speed of B, I don't know the speed of B. So 96 upon B minus 100 upon speed of A. So speed of A is 5 by 3. Now the difference of these two is 12 seconds. Calculating, we get B equal to 4 by 3 meters per second. We get the answer is 4.8 kilometers per hour. So simply without even knowing the speed of B and just knowing the distance and the time gap, we can find out the speed of B. Let's look at another example. A, B, C are running on a circular track. Now what is a circular track? A 400 meter track is normally a circular track. A 100 meter is normally a straight track. So A, B, C are running on a circular track of 120 meters. Speed of A is 5 meter per second, speed of B is 7 meter per second and speed of C is 15 meter per second. Starting simultaneously from the same point, how often do they meet together? Together means A, B, C, all of them at the same point. We know that if A and B are racing, they will meet often. If B and C are racing, they will also meet often. But here, when both of them are meeting the other guy at the same time, that is where we have to find out. So let's look at A and B. A and B, the relative speed is what? 5, 7. So it means that relative speed is 2 meter per second. So on a 120 meter track, 120 divided by 2 gives me 60 seconds. So A and B meet at every 60 seconds. B and C, their relative speed 7, 15. So it is 8 meter per second. So they meet at 120 divided by 8, which is every 15 seconds they meet. So A and B are meeting at 60 seconds, B and C are meeting at 15 seconds. So the LCM of these two will be the point where both of them are meeting or all three of them are meeting together, which is 60 seconds. This is how using the same principle of speed is equal to distance upon time, we can apply to different areas of races and find out the suitable answers.